Hi everybody and welcome to this very special Animoto Facebook Live. I'm Sally Sargood and I'm Video Production Manager here at Animoto. Yesterday we launched three brand new social media friendly storyboards to make it even easier for you to tell your story and make great share worthy videos. So let me know that you can hear me, that everything is technically okay. Say hi in the comments or tap on the like button. Um, we also have Lucas here, he's our Facebook community manager. He's going to be fielding any questions. So as I go along and I'm showing you these new storyboards, if you have any questions about what we're talking about, simply ask in the comments. Um, Lucas will field those through and if we don't get to them live, we'll actually always comment later and answer the questions a little bit later on. So I think where all systems go, we've got people Everyone on board. Say hi Everyone say hi back. <laughs> um, so it looks like we're good to go. So people don't share ads on social media. People are sharing stories. Businesses that actually succeed on social media are the ones that are pulling their customers in. They're the ones that are entertaining them and telling them stories, usually stories that they can relate to or stories that even the businesses themselves are actually really passionate about. Um, videos that go viral are generally the ones that people can relate to. But as a small business, you might be kind of saying to yourself, well, what stories have I got to tell? What have I got that's interesting? And that's where these brand new storyboards actually come into it. We've done a lot of that legwork for you so that it's actually, we've given you ideas and inspiration. We've actually got social media best practices built into these storyboards to help you create those videos. So let's jump in and have a look. We've actually created a landing page so you can see all of these storyboards and where we've explained certain things. So Lucas is going to share a link to the landing page in the comments so you can all have a look at that. Um, let's start with this one which is the real estate explainer. This one, let me just turn the sound down so you don't hear that. This one starts with a shocking or startling statistic or statement, something that's actually going to surprise maybe your viewer. And why you ask? Well, it's generally so that you can get their attention. We always say that the first three to six seconds are the most important in your video. So this starts by that kind of shocking statement and then makes it easier for you to tell your story from there. You don't have to be a real estate agent to use this storyboard. If you're a coffee shop, you can start by saying, 400 million Americans drink coffee every day and then tell the story about coffee and how many Americans are drinking it. Uh, if you're a skincare product, you could say something like um, stress can cause premature wrinkles and then go on to talk about how skincare um, and non-stress can actually help in that way as well. So use that startling statement um, to be the beginning of your video. After that one, let's go to tell a travel story. Um, I love this one. This one has been designed specifically to look like those big brands and publishers that you see on Facebook, the ones that typically do tend to go viral. So by using this storyboard, you get the opportunity immediately uh, to look like a pro. Uh, this one's really good for you to tell your story or the story of your product, um, your why even, really dive deep into those kind of stories to tell. Think about what's on your About Me page or even what you put on your LinkedIn page. What are you passionate about, about your business, why you do what you do or what your product can do to help others? Another great way to think about this one is um, to think literally this blank this. So something like this gourmet soap looks good enough to eat. And then from there, go on to talk, tell the story about how you handcraft your own soaps. Uh, you could say these jeans are designed in Italy and then go on to tell the story about the jeans that you sell in your business. Uh, so think of it that way when you're using the tell a travel story storyboard. The third one is the wellness explainer and I love this one because it starts off and says why is everybody obsessed with turmeric and this one's so easy to use that you can actually just change out turmeric for whatever it is that you do. So again, why is everybody obsessed with coffee? Why is everybody obsessed with vegan skincare? Um, all of the things that again make you an expert, uh, put those things in there. So you can talk about, I actually find a great way for this is to think about what makes you passionate again about your product and incorporate that. So I'm gonna use this storyboard today, uh, not just because it's the easiest, because I actually really like it. So let's go into this one and show you how it works. So we hit the create button and of course go to Animoto Marketing Videos. 
and you'll see the three new storyboards at the top here. I'm gonna choose the wellness explainer and go for that one. Now, just to make it a little easier, here's one I prepared earlier where I've uploaded actually all of my assets into the asset tray to make it a little easier to create. Now, with these specific storytelling storyboards, um, the best thing to do is to think of your copy first. So think of the story you want to tell before you even start. I'm actually putting myself in the shoes of a fitness trainer and I want to talk about boxing. I'm not much of a fitness fan, but when I am, boxing is one of my favorite things, which is why I thought it was something that I should talk about in this demo. Uh, so as a business, you should do the same thing. Think about what it is about your business that you really feel passionate about and start there. Uh, when you're actually thinking to come up with the copy, Think of the three things it is about your business that, that you care most about or that you think are the strongest things about your business. Um, and in doing that too, don't just make a list, but then put them into sentences. So once you've got sentences, uh, I've actually created a little document here, which you may see. Or is it behind here? Let's see if I can bring it up, this one. This is the one that I created, where I came up with the reasons that I thought boxing was uh, great and uh, added a couple of statistics in there and things that made me seem like an expert. And then you actually simply take your, uh, your copy and add it in to the storyboard. So the first thing to do is say, instead of why is everyone obsessed with turmeric, let's add boxing in there. My next line was going to be that women Women's boxing started in the 1800s. So again, we just switch out that copy with our own copy. And just start with each block by changing out the copy that we've got there and switching it into your own story. If you find your story doesn't fit within all of these blocks, feel free to delete some of the blocks if you don't need them all. Um, one thing I will point out, don't delete the first one and the end one, really. Um, well, the first one with text and the last one with text. They're super important. That last one says add a spoonful to your routine. Uh, that's a call to action. So the last one's always there for a reason, generally to wrap up the video. So if you need to delete one, delete one of these ones in the middle um, and go from there. So rather than have you all sit through me adding text, here again is one I prepared earlier where I put all of the story that I wrote out into these blocks. So now we've got our story. Uh, the next thing to do is add your photos and video clips. This particular storyboard, it actually has all videos. And although photos are fine to use, I do strongly encourage you to use all video clips where possible. And even if you're not the best photographer or cinematographer around, that doesn't matter. Start with your iPhone even, that's fine. Um, something that's really fun to do, I think we've said it before, uh, use boomerangs use time-lapse, use all of those fun things that you can use on your iPhone, slow-mo even. Um, they're great to use. And even just use your phone as the video camera. I know uh, the iPhone 7 Plus, which is the one I've got, goes up to 4K. So the quality is actually quite good and it's a really good place to start. Um, another thing you can also look for, of course, is stock, stock photos and stock footage. Um, that's a great way if you don't have the time to shoot it or you just don't feel that confidence, go and have a look for some stock footage out there as well. So. I'm just gonna put my glasses on so I can see. So we've got our story here. I did actually delete the very first block that was video only. That's a great way to sort of have a little video lag in and then start with your text. Uh, it does kind of involve chopping your video in the right place and I just thought it was easy to drop my video into that first block. So we're going to start with, and just to give you some advice on this one too, start with your most striking footage. So if you know that there's one piece of footage that's more visually beautiful, that's more visually striking, that will capture someone's attention, start with that one, because that's, again, always a great place to get the, that hook in. <laughs> get it, hook? <laughs> um, okay, so let's drag a video into here. We'll click on the edit button, and we'll go in to trim the video. Uh, this is an 11 second video, and we don't really want it to be that long. I'm gonna start about there, where she really starts hammering it in. And we only want this to be about three or four seconds. So we'll stop it about there and apply that. Okay, and then we can hover over there and see how it looks. It actually looks pretty good there and so we'll go on to the next one. So we'll take this video clip and drag it onto the next one. And again, come up to edit that and trim the video. 
turn the sound off, it's really important, and just go through and find the part of the clip that you want. This is a quite a long clip, but we really want to show these girls boxing here. So we'll start about there. And again, three to four seconds, that's fine. Let's play that through. That one looks pretty cool too. So again, we're just adding all of these video clips to the blocks to help tell our story. And things to keep in mind when adding your photos and video clips in, try to keep it consistent. So make sure that they're all kind of the same color, lightness, darkness, that sort of thing. Um, understand what it is that the block is saying and try to have the photo or video clip resonate with that because again you are telling a story um, so try to make those match and rather than me dropping video clips and trimming them which can take up some time uh, I've actually continued to drop in those video clips here so as you can see we're telling the story you can hover over it as well and just kind of see what we're doing this here uh, girls training, the why. Today it's a popular workout trend with over 100 boxing gyms opening in New York City. So the copy that we put in there, we're starting to sound like an expert. We're starting to look like we know what we're talking about. Um, so now that we've got in there, it's an opportunity just to make it on brand for your business. So we've still got that beautiful soft pink color there, but it doesn't really go with the boxing business or the brand that I have. So we hit the design button and we're gonna change that text accent color and I'm going to make it the teal. Now if you have a custom color on your brand, you can also hit the custom button there and add the numbers in for your actual brand color. So, but we're going to stick with that teal. I think that looks really cool. If I wanted to, I could change the font to a different font style. Uh, we could do this one. I think there's over 20 different fonts there, but I actually like the one that was in the storyboard, so I'm going to keep that one in. Um, you might have seen under that design button, I'm just going to give you a sneak peek, this little area here, I'm going to tell you all about that on Thursday. That's something else that's new that we've added and something else that can help you with your branding on social media, but tune in Thursday and we'll go into that one in more detail. Um, the very last thing, two things we'll do, we're going to add a logo block, so we're going to add block here, click the logo button and grab our cool little logo and drop it on. That color of the background, again, is a default color, doesn't necessarily match with my brand. So we can change that background color to the teal and we can also put our website in. Goboxing.com. And we can change the color of that to black so that all of that matches. Uh, you can also change the animation. So we can make it slide down or zoom out, do any of that. So we'll do that one there. And lastly is the music. So there's a default song that comes with this video, but I want to change it up and make it more suited to boxing. So we can go in to change that song. If you have your own commercially licensed music, you can upload your own song there as well. Otherwise, browse through our music library. There's over 2,000 songs in there that are commercially licensed for you to use. So jump in there and find something awesome. You can also select your favorites, which I have done. Uh, I should have it up there. And my favorites aren't showing up but I know the song I want is called A Night in the Park that one select that song and then our videos to go you can go in and preview that have a look how it uh, looks feels and sounds to you you can always go back in and make any tweaks or adjustments afterwards uh, but you can preview it before you produce it uh, I've got Alexa she's got the video lined up so rather than show you on this small little screen let's cut to the video and you can check it out
So that looks pretty awesome, huh? I was actually quite surprised myself how, how amazing that turned out. And I, it made me truly understand how great these storyboards are and how professional they can make you look. And I truly am gonna make that, uh, why is everybody obsessed with video marketing video? Because I, my brain's ticking now with ideas and I wanna keep that going. So um, as I mentioned too, that's pretty much it for this demo, but stay tuned for next Thursday, this Thursday coming up. We've released another, we will be releasing another great new feature and I'm going to show you how that one works. That's again, another one that will make you look legit on social. Um, also, next week is Brand Camp. Brand Camp is five days of Facebook Live free online education brought to you by all of us here at Animoto. We're gonna be talking about branding, storytelling and video marketing and how to actually incorporate more of that into your business. A lot of what we're talking about is how your brand is more than just your logo and your colors. So much of it is about the stories that you tell and so much about social media is telling those great stories to, like I said, bring your customer along and actually draw them in. So um, until next time, happy video making and we'll see you soon.